Ho, ho, ho. How's it going, everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video. And today's Christmas. So I hope you all are spending your time today with family, friends, and everything like that. And yeah, if you're spending it alone, enjoy the time to yourself. It's always nice to take a little time for yourself. Enjoy, just have a nice drink, have a little bit of food. A little bit of pie, a little bit of ice cream, all that sort of stuff. All all nice and all for you. You don't have to worry about anybody else stressing you out or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, I hope you all are having a really good Christmas. But today, we got something a little bit special. We're making a bamboo farm. But we have a little bit of stuff we had to take care of before. So we're going to start off in the snowy tundra because we have to get a bit of ice Ho, ho, ho. Gotta get some ice now. Do, 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 do. Gonna get some ice on top of this mountain. Do, 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 do. Whoa, what are you? Oh. Hi there, Mr. Goat. Oh. Uh, how, do, how do you get the horns from these guys? They have to, like, ram a block, right? Do you have to provoke them in any sort of way? I know you're looking at me. Come on. Come on. Do I have to... Do I have to, like, punch it? I don't want... I don't want to punch the goat. Yeah, how about that? Uh... Well, I mean, I guess I could just, like, put water up here and it would freeze, but... I think it's going to be more interesting if we go all the way over there. Whoa. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What is this I see? Dude, that is sick. There's so many, like, so many ideas running through my head. Like, I'm sure whenever you guys look at this, you're going to be like, eh, Go away. Oh, stop. Go away. Oh, I'll take the bones. I need more white dye after making so much white stained glass for the project for today. Uh, yeah, well, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing all right. Uh, this is Decisive TV here for another video on our Let's Play world. Um, yeah, this area just looks super duper cool. Hopefully there is because I don't want to be out here for too long. I didn't bring my bed, obviously. It would be daytime right now if I did. But no, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Why didn't I bring a bed? I don't know. But we got to try and find some ice. No ice over there. Or just like water source that is in that ocean down there. Or the river or whatever that place is. Also got to be kind of careful. I don't have leather boots on so I can just get trapped in powdered snow. Oh, like right there. Uh, no. Not cool. Powdered snow has to be one of the most annoying things. It's super cool and like a cool effect and stuff, but oh my gosh. Look at this. What is that? What? <laughs> like you can't tell me that that isn't like the most inconvenient thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's like also pretty hard to see, especially at night. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see that well anyway. Uh, skeleton. No. Okay, so what we're going to do. Eh. Okay, yeah, I came from this way. So w what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to get a bucket of water. I'm going to come back up here. Don't even worry. And I will be right back with the guys in just a second. All right, so this is how we're going to be getting glass. So we just make an infinite water source and we wait for it to freeze or do that just a little bit. Uh, and then we can collect the ice like that. And so to make compact ice, you actually need nine regular ice. So it's going to take a little bit of waiting, but eventually we'll we'll get it. And then I can head back to the base, make a compact ice and put it in the sugarcane farm which yes i did not do in between episodes that's why we're here now but it also gives me a cool story to tell doesn't it future me Alrighty, so how about that for 
for a nice little story time of getting the ice. So I ended up going back and uh, I actually farmed up a little bit more ice. So I, I ended up getting a couple uh, more packed ice. Can't believe I accidentally said glass in the middle of that. That was kind of weird. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head back to the base. And uh, we're just going to be working on the bamboo farm. So here we go. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we are over at the farm, uh, the sugarcane farm that we built last episode. And uh, I'm just going to try and polish things up a little bit, make things look a little bit nicer around the area. Uh, I'm also going to work on a very, very good suggestion uh, last video. Well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, of... Oh, oh no. We go so i already got the chest area set up over here and the water elevator or where the water elevator will be um i'm not entirely sure how big i want the farm to be just yet oh and sugarcane farm is working uh pretty good i think yeah i gotta go down here and i gotta replace this real quick actually i almost forgot so now items shouldn't be able to get stuck. Shouldn't is the, the key word, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, I just got to mine out this area a little bit and make it look, uh, you know, all right, at least. <laughs> um, so we're going to go through here and uh, I think we should set it up just like the sugarcane farm, uh, just because that seems to be a pretty effective way and also you know might as well keep things looking about the same uh because i think yeah it should work the same we just put dirt down the bamboo uh shroom lights behind it piston yeah that should work so uh i guess i can go ahead and do that real quick uh get a little bit more of this set up and i'll be right back with you guys whenever i make a little bit more progress um but yeah, this suggestion came from uh, somebody in the comments last video. And what convinced me is that you can use bamboo now to make the, the bamboo wood or the bamboo logs or, or whatever they're called, uh, which you can make into planks, which then you can make into uh, chests and stuff like that. And so I was like, OK, that's a pretty good reason to make a bamboo farm. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and make this big old thing, uh, hopefully get a bit more bamboo. Um, the farm that we built uh, last or a few episodes ago, um, the one that's up on the surface, is pretty good. It gets the job done, but it's not like super duper quick or anything like that. So I think upgrading our uh, farm or bamboo farm at least, will be very beneficial for all the other farms. And so that's kind of why I uh, have decided to make it uh, this episode. Like, why so close, you know? So that's that's the reason for another bamboo farm. <laughs> We're going to become the bamboozler part two, electric boogle bamboozaloo, or something like that. Something funny, you know? But... Yeah, today is actually Christmas Day, uh, so hopefully all of you are having a good Christmas. Uh, as you can tell, it's Christmas because <laughs> of Minecraft chess. Uh, so hopefully you guys are having a good Christmas today, and hopefully you're spending it uh, spending the time with family, friends, that sort of stuff. And if you aren't, and you're spending it on your own some, you know, that's all right. Sometimes you just got to enjoy yourself. And who can really blame you for that? Um, okay, so the farm kind of comes out like this. So it's like a three wide right here with the sugar cane, empty space, and then glass. So I think we want we want the empty space to be right here, correct? Yeah, so we'll need to push this farm back in a little bit more. Man, we're going to get so much stone and stuff out of this. Now that I have a silk touch pickaxe, uh, I, I'll actually be able to get building blocks. <laughs> Got to use my junk chest a lot, though. 
put this stuff in here. Why not? Don't really need it right now. So, yeah, we're going to have to push this back a little bit. But we need the gap to line up right here. So the glass will be right here, I believe. Yeah, somewhere along there. So the... that... Uh, I'm actually going to take this one and mark it out a little bit better. There we go. So this is where the shroom lights, pistons, observers are going to be uh, along this line here. And just going to be the same old setup as the sugarcane farm because that works out pretty well, I think. So um, we're going to need a block gap right here. I'm going to need to get more spruce wood too, but that that's all right. Um, so maybe we drop it down a little bit. Because how far did I go? I, I went one more layer down there, I believe. Wait, I got free cam. Uh, yeah, so we went down one. And obviously we can like expand this downwards however much we want we can't really expand upwards because there's not a lot of room to work up there but that's a-okay uh expanding downwards wet might actually be a bit better uh because we don't have to make it look fancy or anything down there so we can just let it do its thing um okay let's see so this is where the dirt is going to be so i guess i should probably keep that and this one we can actually make it a little bit more compact because we don't have to have the blocks underneath the sand to keep the sand up said we can just have dirt laying across here so we'll have the dirt so then the bamboo will grow uh pistons will be right here and then above it would be the observers so yeah we're just gonna have to mine out a bit of this but it should be a pretty efficient farm. I mean, bamboo grows pretty quickly in Minecraft, as far as I know. So, at least quicker than sugarcane does. But I guess just for a test, we can... Uh, actually, I might just keep it at this layer. I think this might be the first layer. I don't know if I want to go down one with it just yet. Um... I know we will need a bit more. Oh man, I need to get some dirt, I guess. Do I have any dirt? Oh, I do. Coming in clutch. Okay, so we'll just line it like that. So through here, and then we can put the soul sand block here. I'm gonna need a couple signs right there, uh, but we need to see how far this water goes. Okay. There we go. Okay, so soul sand block there, and then we have the water. Uh, I do have more com or packed ice. It's not compact ice anymore. I completely forgot. Whenever it first came out, this is that's what I called it for the longest time. So put packed ice right there, two signs, soul sand, and then a bubble elevator leading up, and it should be okay. Um, let's see. Is there... Anything else uh, besides the the shroom lights I gotta get? I think will be okay. Man, those things sound really freaking cool. I really like shroom lights. Shroom lights are my friend, my lighting friend. They look good. They sound awesome. They sound really cool whenever you break them too. Boom, boom, crazy. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bit more materials. Um, I already have the pistons and observers because I didn't use all of them for the sugarcane farm. So we're good on that. Uh, but I do need to get some more wood. Um, cause I need, I need the signs. I need to make it look pretty. Uh, what else? I guess I need to go up and actually get the bamboo, uh, which it's not in a hard task. Got to get the soul sand, of course. But yeah, so I will go ahead and be right back whenever I go ahead and get that stuff. And I will, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back and I got the shroom lights. I got a little bit of soul sand. 
Um, what what else did I get? I guess I grabbed a little bit of bamboo, not too much, but uh, I I also forgot that I had to make repeaters. Oh, and I forgot to make the signs. Make a little bit of wood, and we'll go back down, and we'll make a few signs. It's not that big of a deal, right? Here we go. Boop. Easy as pie. And I do not have enough inventory space. Okay, so we'll do that. And now all we have to do is... Actually, I'm going to break these. Eh, eh. We'll do that. Get a bit of water. Oh, I actually did hit that. It's crazy. So we'll go ahead and we'll do it from the top down this time because doing it from the bottom up was kind of a little bit difficult. So I think there, there, and now just these three. One, and then we got to get the glass out ready to place. Two. And three. There we go. Perfect. Wow, that was actually a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So, got to use my junk chest again. I have so much crap on me at all times. Uh, I also got a bit of, bit more dirt from our chest up, up in our house. And I did not get more spruce wood. That's A-OK. -okay. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so shroom lights are going to line the bottom here. Uh, the bamboo is going to grow. Hopefully none of it actually grows right now. Uh, we'll get rid of a couple of these so I can get out. Uh, place our pistons at this level. And then all we got to do is put in the observers like so. So, wow, that like instantly grew. Okay, got to place the torch back here so... Nothing funky spawns. Place a little bit of stone. And I am an idiot and didn't grab where. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll just do this. Boom. And then repeaters will go on the bottom here. We'll actually get rid of this. Might as well do this. And then all we got to do is just line the top with a bit of redstone. And we call it good. So just seal this up like that. Um, so now once the bamboo actually grows, then it does that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oops. Well, that, that'll just go up. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. All right, uh, let's see. I don't have like any spruce at all. Dang, okay. Well, I wanted to enclose it, but I guess I'll have to go up and get a little bit of spruce wood. So then we can enclose it and then it actually like fully works. Uh, you know what? It's all right. What, what I was saying while my recording was paused, I didn't realize it was paused until I got done, uh, was, that wait what, i don't even know where i ended off actually oh yeah so i got the spruce wood uh we don't really need too much i only had to chop down one tree uh just because we needed to align it the main thing is going to be the stained glass and oh boy okay um and watching uh glass smelt is not a whole lot of fun but at least it gives me time to be able to listen to a podcast or my favorite YouTube, watch my favorite YouTuber or something like that. Um, or uh, I, what I, I have really been doing is watching the rising of the shield hero, which, oh my goodness, definitely one of my top animes. I think, I think that that anime is just oh, it's so freaking good. It's so good. Like it is every gamer's dream for an anime. I think it. Oh, it's just oh it's so perfect i really wish it was like a game based around it that was like an actual game or something like a vr game would be pretty freaking cool because you know uh if you guys have watched it before if you haven't um it, it's basically based in 
a different world. So this guy gets like sucked into a book or whatever. Uh, I think it's a book. I'm pretty sure, but it's basically like a video game world, and he is the shield hero. And the shield hero in the place that he was summoned at is not very liked, so he has to make his way through. And all the troubles that come along with that and people going against him or plotting against him and stuff like that to foil his, his, uh, oh boy, what is it? Um, his reputation, I guess, in the world. So, yeah, um, it, it's really freaking cool to see. And it's just, oh, it's such a freaking good anime. Such a freaking good anime. But season three has just started. Uh, I don't know if this came to a conclusion yet. I know a new episode came out three days ago, so we'll see. But I just reached season three. Uh, like, I'm on episode two now. So I've just been binge watching it while I've been waiting for all the glass smelling and everything like that. Because believe it or not, smelting like half a, half a chest of glass takes about 30 minutes, sort of-ish. Takes about an episode of anime, so very convenient but also very annoying at the same time that it has to take that long <laughs> but it's okay because we get to watch our anime should probably make a a tree farm eventually we haven't even guys we haven't even beaten the ender dragon i'm already talking about these like super du oh super duper complex like i need a honey farm to make a tree farm and then i gotta with the tree farm, I need an iron farm so I can make chests and hoppers and stuff like that. But that's all going to come around. And building it down here is definitely going to be very beneficial whenever 1.21 comes out. Because 1.21 has the auto crafter. And the auto crafter is going to be absolutely game changing for how Minecraft is played. Like probably... One of the biggest changes that they've made in recent time that isn't uh, the Caves and Cliffs update. Okay, there we go. So we got two. Uh, might expand it. Another one. I'm going to have to make a few more repeaters. Uh, observers are good and pistons are definitely good. But I got to go get more spruce wood so I can actually make it look a bit prettier. There we go. Perfect. Nice. It works so well. And it also, it, I think this fits the theme a lot more because of the dirt. The dirt fits the spruce a lot more than the sand and stone. So it looks pretty cool, I'd say. Um, let's see. Wow. Okay. I'll just leave that in there. And then I'll, I'll probably just AFK here while I do some stuff. It is Christmas after all. So maybe I'll just like leave my character in a hole or something and let this, let this stuff do its thing for a little bit. So, um... Wow, during the building, all that, we got about a stack and a half of sugarcane. Cool. But yeah, so that is the bamboo farm built. I, I kind of wish I knew what to do with that. Maybe we just need to put like blocks in front of the pistons, but that's going to expand the farm a little bit. But for right now, it's complete. Yippee. So how about that, guys? Our Christmas holidays have been complete with a nice bamboo farm. Boy, oh boy, am I looking forward to all the food I'm going to be eating today. Hopefully, you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you all so much for watching this video if you watched it on Christmas. And to everybody in the future watching this video, I appreciate you watching. Thank you all so much. If you did enjoy the video, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new here. I love seeing all your new faces. Uh, we've gotten a lot of new people in these past couple days, and I, it's, I love seeing it. It's awesome seeing this community grow, and I appreciate all the comments you guys leave and everything like that. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a good, good New Year's. Good day. Goodbye.